22,000 children die every day because of poverty. Right now, there are almost 1 billion people in the world who cannot read or write. There are 27 million slaves in the world today. These are just some of the problems which NGOs around the world are trying to solve. NGO stands for non-governmental organization, which means they do not belong to the government and are non-profit. The term non-governmental organization was first used in 1945 when the United Nations was created. All NGOs are different. Some work to end poverty. Others try to stop violence. Many promote education. More and more are helping to improve the environment. Because they perform such an important role, lots of people support the work of NGOs. Many rich people like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates give them money. Organisations like governments and universities often set aside funding to help with their projects. NGOs employ lots of volunteers to help with the running of their day-to-day -day activities. Most NGOs focus their efforts on less economically developed countries. There are over 2 million NGOs in India. Brazil has about 220,000 NGOs. In 2011, I spent six months volunteering as a health educator for an NGO called Safe Passage in Guatemala. Guatemala is a country in Central America. Like many developing countries, Guatemala has a huge garbage dump in which conditions are dirty, dangerous and impoverished. Safe Passage provides education, food and support to children and their families who are living and working in and around Guatemala City's garbage dump. NGOs need people with all sorts of different skills. I worked with a range of people including cooks, teachers, business and marketing experts, doctors and dentists, social workers and counsellors. NGOs and the people who work for NGOs all have some things in common. Compassion, a desire to work for the social good, and a sense of responsibility. As educated individuals, you all have these values. Whatever you choose to learn, your education can be the key to making a positive difference in the world today.